The time has come. Execute order 66. <laughs> Dude, let it flow, man. Don't even worry about what we're doing. Just flow. Hey, how's it going, everyone? And get ready to nerd out with Andor. I am Clinton Ritchie. I'm James Orr. And uh, before we get started, again, I'm going to ask you, again, James, my little, my little James, uh, what was your, <laughs> who was your favorite character this time? Obviously, Andor. I mean, we, I can't really say why right now, but uh, I think it'll be evident later on. Yeah. I mean, for me, uh, I think Gorn took it this time for me. He came in, he made sure everything got done the way it was supposed to. And he uh, also, whenever, whenever the people came in that were watching up top and like mm -hmm. heard the shit, he acted so good right there that they almost believed him. Until like, you know, hard time. <laughs> almost until, until that old fucker. <laughs> what is his name? JL or Jaw? <clears throat> Honestly, I don't actually get his name. It's I on the I captions, did. but I, I I didn't even write it down. I don't. I didn't like him. Like this old fucker. <laughs> but yeah, man. Okay, so I have to bring up because it's right in the first of. I mean, opening credit, opening scene. The uh, the skip intro still don't fucking work. No. <laughs> no, they don't. Just. <laughs> it pisses me off. <laughs> I already clicked on Andor. I already clicked on the episode. Let me fucking watch this, please. <laughs> Let me just get past Andor. We know what we're watching. Don't need to show it to me again. Exactly. Um, but no, but for real though. Um, man, it looks so different uh, with the fog. It looks almost surreal. Like, like it almost knows what's going on in the episode. The planet. Uh, it's pretty wild. I mean, obviously, it's for dramatic effect. You know, it was like, no, not like, oh, this planet's foggy, but... It looked like, man, it looked like good, Norway man. or something. Yeah, man. It's probably captured there for real. But, um, yeah, it looked good. I was like, damn, dude. I agree. I concur. Concur. And, and, then, and then Nimic didn't get no rest. Like, that yeah. green motherfucker. I actually got that. <laughs> Um, I wrote that down, like how he didn't sleep and like, he was all like, Hey, you're not fucking fighting for anything. You have nothing to worry about. And you slept like a stone, you know? Yeah. And by the way, why you slept, I creepily wrote in my, my manifesto about you, not particularly <laughs> you, but <laughs> I know, I don't know you very well. And you just got here five days ago, but I want you to have this, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, I think out of all the people there, he connects to Andor the most. You know, the easiest connection. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, because Skeen's a fucking jackass. Cinta and fucking Vel were lesbians, and we called that shit, didn't we? We fucking knew it. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so I wrote it down in the new notes here, yeah. Other than that, they had a uh, fucking... What's his face? Uh, Terror... Tarion or fucking damn it, what's his name? Tamarian? No. Yeah, it's a Terramin. Terramin. There you go. Where's Terramin? Terramin. Yeah, shit, my bad. So uh, they had. Good. Other than that, there's him. So N Namek really doesn't have anybody that's around his age or even interested in the shit that he's interested in. Andor at least mm -hmm. looked like he gave a fuck, you know? That's probably right. the reason why he gave it to him and nobody else. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. So I don't want to jump too far because I'll be fucked on my notes. <laughs> but, but, uh, I mean, who knew that Nimic was a writer? I mean, we knew that he had ideas, right? We knew he had, you know, a process of thoughts that kind of made sense if you're in a rebellion. But who knew, right? Like, that's crazy. Yeah, I would have never expected case, it. Go ahead. Cassian's cold, dark reply. To like, does it look like I'm fucking, you know, scared? Or do I, or what does he say? Um, man, damn. But, uh, he, <laughs> I'm like, damn, dude. 
<laughs> and you know, it just it's almost like a surreal moment. Like, you know, you kind of see the character strength yeah. pull through that on Endor. Um Man, what do you think about that when he said that? Like, did you kind of really get shivers? What you were saying. Man, I don't remember what he said now, but uh, because because uh, Mimic was telling him, he said that I should have wrote this down better with notes, but um, he didn't say that. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> he was telling him <laughs> about you know how cold he was when he slept like a stone, and that he he like he got nothing to fight for, right? Yeah. He got, here you are. With nothing to lose, nothing to fight for. And you slept like, like a fucking a stone. stone. Right. And then um, he also says something. I can't remember. Exactly oh, so when Cassian replied to him, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, well, he, he told that to Cassian, and Cassian got in his face, and he said, does it look like I'm bothered or worried? Oh, yeah, yeah. Or, or something. No, he, he definitely was, remember. but he's not going to let it fucking control him pretty well, much. I mean, he, he, it was so good. I was like, ah. Oh. I didn't capture exactly <sighs> what he said, but I do remember him being yeah. like, there's no, there's no reason. He's badass. To, like, he, he told him, he's like, you're going to make it through this. You, you'll sleep tomorrow when it's done. And sleep he did for the rest of his life. <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> it's too soon. It's too soon, man. I, My poor heart. I know. I oh. told you he was going to die, dude. Fucking told you. <laughs> he was too green, man. Yeah, he was, man. I thought that I thought Vel and Senta were on a fucking suicide mission, to be honest. I thought so, too. And then, you know, Vel kind of... Okay, I fucking called it from the jump, did I not? About? Vel being shaky as fuck. Vel wasn't shady. No, shaky. Oh, like shaky. Nervous. I thought you said shady. Oh, shit. Yeah, she was definitely nervous, man. They were all nervous, I remember? I even said that shit. They were yeah, all scared well, she, as fuck. She was scared. She was scared shitless on the bridge Yeah. when she jumped down. I was like, you dirty bitch. <laughs> do you think she was just scared of heights and she didn't want to do that jump? I think so. Because yeah. <laughs> the rest of it, she was stone cold badass, man. Yeah. Like, fucking killer. Uh, what about Terraman being a stormtrooper back in the day? Yeah. I mean, it, it makes sense now, right? It makes sense on how he is, but... You know, I... <laughs> That's how he knows how to march but, and everything, dude. It's pretty good. Right. With all the memes, the stormtrooper memes, not hitting any other targets, I was thinking, oh, god damn, we're fucked now, dude. <laughs> well, you've seen Rebels, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, you haven't. Okay. So, listen. <clears throat> Rex... Rex in uh, Clone Wars, right? Remember him? He comes back in Rebels. And uh, he puts on one of the Stormtroopers' helmets. And he's all shooting. He's like, I can't see a damn thing in this th in this helmet. And he takes it off. And he starts shooting. He's like, that's better. <laughs> so it's the helmets, dude. <laughs> it's the helmets. Okay. It makes sense. I mean, you see them in the bloopers hitting their heads on the, on the ledges that drop down in the doorways. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're tripping over the the high steps. Oh, you're you completely. Ah, yeah, it, it fixed itself. Actually, it looks a lot but, better uh, now. Look at that. <laughs> Go ahead. Excuse me. Um, but man, dude, that him being a stormtrooper that was fucking out of this world. I didn't see it coming at all. I, I like, didn't see. Wow. It. <laughs> ah, I lost. I lost. Oh man. Okay, never mind. You're back. Your your uh, mic cut out for a second, but you're good. Um, I might have got too loud. I know this <laughs> one would get too loud; it cuts out too too much. Um, so, uh, so now we know we see the Donnies in this episode, right? Yep. Which I was really surprised to see Donnies. Like, I mean, not so surprised, but I was more surprised by the way they looked. Their attire and their dress and They're all their weapons and stuff. So I have a question for you. Could the Donnies be from Canari? No. Like I said, they're all redheads and like the people from Canari were all like uh dark darker skinned. Yeah, but I mean Canari if you move from one planet to another planet, you're gonna be your genetics and your bone structure and stuff is gonna change. So, 
I mean, the, the, the reason I brought it up is because the stick, the old man stick, it looks similar to the sticks that they had in Canard, yeah. on Canard. So that's why I was like, maybe his sister's on that planet. Nah, I don't. <laughs> I don't think we're going to see his sister till the end of the season. <clears throat> oh man! But yeah, so here in this episode, we learned that the Imperials had been on Aldani for twelve years. Yep. And Gorn himself been there for seven. seven. Right. What do you think about that? About Gorn being there for seven years, or them uh, being there murdering oh. everybody? Well, I do. <laughs> I do like. I do like the fact. Uh, that they explain most of that and that now we know how long they've been there so they've yeah. got a pretty good little base and they know that the I, I think they've only been there two times since the eye has been there or no that's only Gorn right I so like the, he I knows I've been there every year right no no, no it's, it's, every, it's every three years every three every years three, that's right yeah that's it happens right. so he's got to see the eye twice and he knows all the shit like the bad stuff that they've done to those people that's pretty pretty much the reason he changed like from one side to the other because like he's like he said he fell in love with some girl and uh she got fucking murdered by by them so that's the reason he joined their rebellion and it makes it makes perfect sense to me now so yeah i did what do you uh, the the that also points out why uh the pilgrims because they kept on saying pilgrims on the thing the the donny um, and it kept on saying why they hated the, or it let you know why they didn't like the Imperial soldiers so much because they've been there. They, there's only the, what do they say? There used to be 500 of them that would march up there. And now there's like what? No, 15,000. Oh yeah. I it think it's 15,000 or 1500. It was, it was a lot. And now, and now there's a, uh, now there's only like 60 that march up there you know well they had if you if you remember the old man that died with a heart attack i don't know jalal jahal shahil whatever <clears throat> um he said that they had 500 uh marching up the mountain yeah and uh it's funny he said he said this now I'm, this is going to be a, a rough quote um uh, that's going by memory he said that they've offered them transportation up and down and they refused it, and they knew they would re would refuse it. So, along the way, they put little stops, little resting spots for them to rest at and crap like that, like taverns. Yep. And at those taverns, they have really cheap drinks. That gets you fucked up. And then, so by the time they actually reach the top of the mountain, where they need to be at their sacred area, the valley, um, they'd, on, they'd be dwindled down so far they wouldn't have so many. <laughs> they wouldn't. Um, they wouldn't have so many, you know, people there supposedly stinking up the place. <laughs> um, because if in the whole series so far, when you're on a down a Donny, all you ever hear them talk about how bad they stink. Yeah, I think it's the. I mean, that's <clears throat> you know, whenever they were passing off the goat fur or the goat hide or yeah. the goat skin, remember how like he's like, here, take this, it stinks. And he's like, ugh, ugh, you know. I think that yeah. they stink so bad is because they wear those skins. And then that's what they're smelling. So let's let's backtrack just a little bit um, before the goat skins. What um, what did you think about when that guy, the colonel? I guess he's a colonel. Anyways, uh, basically Gorn's supervisor, I guess, right? Um, but what do you think about it when Gorn was meet having him meet the old man from the the, the Donny, and he said the Donny guy said, uh, "I got it written down here." He pretty oh much said, God. "Fuck he off." He says, dude. "He says our ghosts have strong hands and long memories." Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then Gorn's like, uh, "Hopefully," he said, "Hopefully this the I will stay long enough for us to get some good out of it or something." Yeah, he said uh, he said something like that. He He's, says, "May the I find good in all of us." That's yep. what I wrote down here. Okay. Then the old man. Now, here's what blew me away. The old man looked like that at him, like he knew what the fuck was just said. He knows. And I was like, "This old man's gonna beat that motherfucker up." <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch <laughs> Gorn. He's the only good side. <laughs> Dude, honestly, but, uh, you. Sorry, yeah. go ahead. Um, it was funny because. 
<laughs> and that old man turned around and like, oh, got the, we got the wool, right? Sorry, I didn't mean to flash that. But uh, when we got the wool and they threw it in a fucking fire. And they're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like hell yeah, dude. That's right. Yeah, that's Fuck cool, man. Fans, man, they didn't like them. Just and uh, the captain dude also said, "Do they know?" Uh, or the dude that they were talking to said, "Do they know that this is going to be the last time that they come up to this mountain?" And he said, "No." So I'm wondering what's going to happen later on, because you know that guy well, might have died, but the the imperial soldiers are still there. The Adani people are still right. there. So right, are right. they not actually going to be able to visit that temple again, or? Well, I think they're going to uh, do something, like maybe add on or maybe try to make a weapon or kind of like a planet weapon. Um, Or maybe they're going to build or add on to it. You know what I mean? Who knows? It's really up in the air because they didn't really specify what for. They just said, do they know? And then Gorn was like, nah, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Pretty much. (laughs) That you know of. (laughs) But yeah, he said, you know, he said, I have to go on. Yeah. And dude, honestly, when they killed him, I feel like uh, they did him wrong. They, they did a flash. It was a quick flash sh- shot, and you don't actually even get to see that it's him that dies. You just kind of see uh, a dark skinned guy in a uniform go like this. Ugh. You don't actually get to see him well, get shot. Like, whenever. Uh, scary number one of the night is I think they're going to actually bring him back. Oh, you don't think he died? Because I don't think he died. I think he's going to be a prisoner. Cool. Hey, that's that's pretty good, man. Hopefully that happens. They bring it. You know what? Show me the body. That's what they always say in Star Wars, right? <laughs> Show <laughs> me the death certificate. I want it now. <laughs> so uh, when those two girls, <clears throat> when they were went off to do their little mission and they were underneath that rock, I definitely thought that oh, they were going to get caught right there. That dude comes up and pisses right beside him. I'm like, oh, shit. I, I, I wrote that in my notes. I said, oh, man, Phil almost got got. And um, <laughs> imagine them just like looking over there while they're talking. And then they're like, you see that? And like, they just see like two white eyes just like staring back at you. <laughs> right at his penis, like this dirty son of a bitch. <laughs> Another thing, I don't understand why those whenever they whenever they went into the water, they had to wait for the the passing the one the two passing over. They're like, okay, here it comes. It had already passed, and that's whenever they started running. Like they didn't. What well, what, what was that doing exactly? If you if you think about it, okay, it shows it shows it passes, and then they start running. Well, when they start running, it also shows on that bridge on the dam that it passing over the top of them. So they had to give it a few seconds to get to the dam. That so way they instead take their of looking eyes down, off. Okay. That way, they, instead of looking down at the water, they're looking up at the sky. I gotcha, dude. Because that bothered the fuck out of me for a minute. Dude. <laughs> I oh, like... I got one that's worse than that, dude. Okay, for example, when they were doing the radio testing, right? And they're like, uh, Echo 1, come in, Echo 1. Echo 1, go, Echo 1. On spot 1. You know what I mean? And then they're... The Echo One was like, come in, Valley One, you know, on spot one, Valley One. And they finally got into each other, right? And they figured out the, I guess, the sequencing or whatever. Uh, the fucking Imperial people couldn't hear that on the radios? Well, that's another thing. They were supposed to be completely on a different thing, and they shut theirs down, remember? They shut theirs down, so they weren't supposed to be able to get out anywhere. But for some reason, they didn't think to block off their fucking line, because that's how they got caught in the first place. It makes no sense to me. Well, another thing is they left the Akinzi base open. For what reason? Because uh, when Sinta was in there with the the uh, tower room, when Akinzi did call in, they didn't. They're like, "Hey, we need to verify is the vault safe or is the vault good?" And instead of answering back, she flips a dial and then turns off all the lights. I think they did that so everybody knows that there's a. Uh like uh, something's happening to Black the empire out. well no, no i feel like uh that way if the uh, the uh, kinsey base they know that they got fucking jacked that way they can start spreading the word but that way the neighboring places won't actually have a chance to uh <laughs> won't actually have a chance to come and help come, come and help them out before it was actually time you know 
That's my only explanation for it. But yeah, that that killed it right there. Because you know when they was in there, that's what sent the 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 guard group or whatever you want to call them down to the vault. Mm-hmm. Is that they overheard the tower, you know, on the radio, like, "Hey, we're in the vault. We're in the vault. Shut the fuck up. Say it one time and be fucking done." Like, yeah. Well, God. they weren't supposed to be able to get a hold of them. Like, they're, all their communication was supposed to be cut off, except to uh, Alkenzie. That was that was supposed to be what it was. Everything was supposed to be cut off. But for some reason, their fucking shit was able to pick theirs up, and I did not like that. They were using that old school tech that he completely modified. Ooh. Remember, they said that he modified it. He's like, "Isn't that a? Uh, isn't that a?" Uh, a fucking an imperial radio and he goes it was not anymore and this that and the other you know because N- namek fucked it mm. fucked with it and they were i don't know i don't know how they were able to get on their uh, sequence it just kind of bothered me i didn't like it maybe maybe they were the tower was on a, a sweeping you know range thing where it got went through all the channels kind of like a scan on our, on our radios today af am fm radios where it just scans until it picks something up and then it, it dials in on that signal. Uh, Maybe yeah. that's what happened. That has to be what happened. I mean, but like you're gonna fucking do a fucking robbery and not think of that shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. They've been planning this for think months. I Remember blown they blown up the tower? Huh? Or the radio signal? Yeah, the radio they, signal? Yeah. They could have. I mean, maybe that's too much. I, I feel know. like they should have just walked in and killed that dude because she already went up there and planted something. Walk up, kill the guy real quick, turn off the communications. Y'all would have never been found out until somebody walked in, walked in over and found out that that dude was dead. <clears throat> well, I think they wanted to do it without killing people. That's that true. way they can show, because you know, it, 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 she tells the colonels, uh, Vel tells the colonel, tell, I can't even talk. Vel <laughs> tells the colonel that, oh, what, like y'all do? Like, we're not going to kill you. If you do what we ask you to do and, and be good about doing it, you'll live. Yep. Walk away. He'll and hunt walk away. and c- come after us for the rest of our lives. What'd oh. you think? What'd you think about that play uh, that part whenever they break in? When they break in Man when he when that when that guy the the other colonel or whatever the whatever his Gorn? name is, the visitor. Oh. No, the visitor he held the gun to Nimic, right? Yeah. And he's like, Let the boy go. Let the boy go. And, and I'm like, out. Oh fuck that. Not Nimic, not Nimic, dude. Come on, man. You want get Skeen. Nobody wants Skeen around any <laughs> fucking place. Get that motherfucker. Get that right? motherfucker. Because um, I mean, really, the most valuable, in my opinion, the MVP of the episode was was uh, Nimic. Fucking, yeah, he is, dude. He had. He was the one that could program the flight path, and he was the one that could read it. Right. So he was an MVP. Yeah, Andor could fly, and get the ship right but he only knew how to get out of there yeah so exactly but moving back and then and then like you said Cinta drops down off that ladder oh, mm-hmm. did you see how close that blaster bolt was to Ooh. Nimic's head <laughs> dude oh, I liked it man I like if honestly dude. if Cinta didn't do it Andor is gonna shoot that motherfucker you could tell in his eyes he's like I'm about to kill you bitch <laughs> he does not play when it comes to that shit but uh Let's let's say the good part for the last of, of the episode. And maybe favorite parts. <laughs> we get my drift. Um Okay, so uh, Dude, honestly, when they went down the vault, everybody was supposed to be outside watching that shit, right? And or those guys are supposed to be down there guarding it, right? When they're fucking right. just sitting down playing poker or poker or something. They're betting. They're, they're not even fucking doing their job. They like, and uh, the big people come down, you know, Gorn and uh, his his boss. They're they're just sitting down there playing fucking poker or something like I mean, that. What else are you gonna do? You're sh- you're basically waiting, right? But how how are you supposed to be guarding that while you're sitting down playing chips? You know, they got sticks and stones, man. They ain't got <laughs> laser guns and <laughs> laser swords. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't feel like they should have been sitting down playing uh, playing fucking cards. Yeah, I mean, really, they shouldn't. Have. Mm-hmm. They shouldn't. Have. That that you know, if you're an imperial guard, you just got fired. Yeah. Um, yeah. They none of them had their guns on them or anything. Man, 
what do you think about it when the colonel looked at at the team, at the squad, right? And he was like, these guys are my kinsmen. Oh, what do yeah. you think? Did you think they were about to get got? I did not think that they were about to get caught. I was wondering. If, well, this is the thing. At first, I was like, fuck, what if this guy's from Al Kinsey? But then Gorn said, yes, they are. He's the one that answered for him, and he's been working with that guy. So he knows where this dude's from. So, therefore, like, you know, when they were walking and they said, if somebody asks, if somebody's from Al Kinsey, you're from the... Uh, the, the garrison, if somebody's from the garrison, you're from yeah. McKenzie. So I was thinking that since Gorn knows that guy, he's the one that was able to ment- uh, like say where they were from. So I figured I figured that they were fine. Yeah. Just because Gorn's the one that said it. <clears throat> I love how like uh, the dude was like, I can't, I can't unlock those. I can't unlock it. She's like, we know everything about you. We know that you can unlock this. And then he goes down there and he's like, I can't do this. And they just fucking put down the, uh, the bombs and blow that shit up. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> you, you remember when he was saying that he couldn't unlock it, that there was a tower that had to be to shoot a signal to it or something. And I'm like, look, we know that you can do it. And we also know that it's your hand. And we also know that we only need your hand. We don't need anything yeah. else. So we could just take your hand or you can go with it. <laughs> Either way, it's completely up to you. <laughs> <laughs> that was, it's, I loved that it, was epic. I was like, that was badass. Dude. Hell yeah. Man. Okay. So you brought it up. And when they get down there and he's like, you just got to have a signal. You can't get in there. And they put the little charges on the stands. What do you think about the straps? I look like he could be fucking cut. Is that what you're talking about? No, I, I was thinking to myself when I saw the straps go like that. Oh, they look I was cool. Thinking, Don't worry, I'll fix I it. thought, man, that looks weak as fuck. And, uh, you know, it didn't dawn on me until the second time I watched it. I was like, dude, you know, as heavy as he's making those, those oh. I guess, canisters steam, those little straps... And there's like a whole bunch of those canisters, right? And those little straps. I don't know. Yeah, like I said, you know, they, look, just, they look like you can cut them. But, um, man, dude. <laughs> I kind of wish, I kind of wish the colonel before he had his heart attack or as he had his heart attack, he's like, go, get medical help. You know, that would have been pretty cool. Yeah, he could have fucking but, turned it around. Be like, instead of like, I'm tell them to leave. <laughs> tell them. You tell them. Go <laughs> help. Dude, honestly, while they were loading all that shit, his hair is all fucked up. You could tell something was wrong with him. He looked like he was yeah. about to die. You can well, tell that he hadn't been running laps in a long time. Jesus. <laughs> well, you know, when he was getting dressed and he called his wife over there and, and she's like, I'm dressing our son. And he, he said, he's 12. Come here and look at my satch. I'm like, you just <laughs> said he's 12 and you want your wife to come look at your satch. Yeah. Like, you fucking. He fuck can it. dress himself. And he's then 12. She, <laughs> and she said, he, he told her that he thinks that it shrunk. And she said, you don't think that you expanded? <laughs> I wouldn't. Uh, I w- I would. I'd literally say if I had something like that, it fucking shrunk. I put it in the washer, and you put it on high heat. It's your fault. That's what I want to do. I'm blaming on her. <clears throat> she shrank it. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> oh man, damn. I, I actually have wrote down right here. Uh, they would have been able to complete it all easy and everything if they knew how to fucking disconnect the uh, the radios, right? have been done nice and easy that that and if you remember when tamarin or tamarin no tamarin 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 when he told keen is it keen or skeen skeen s-k-e-e-n skeen okay so when he told skeen cover me i'm gonna go and help you know bell he 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 comes out and hits that guy right takes him off the balcony fine perfect Good job, dude. And then he goes back, and then and he, you see him run out. Instead of coming back around and shooting just wherever, that motherfucker was scared like a bitch. He was like, and then and then 
Tamarian get get. Yeah, I think it's I think it's safe to say nobody liked fucking Skeen at all. Whoa, fucking Skeen? No, nobody liked Skeen at all. Sorry. <clears throat> None of us really want to fuck Skeen. <laughs> <laughs> or did we? We, did, we? we didn't fuck Skeen. We'll just say that. Comment below if you would. Or would not. <laughs> Dude. I'm just kidding. I'm just what kidding. about when they were getting in the TIE Fighters? Was that not like the coolest thing in the world? And in, in my opinion, I've never seen them go down and climb down a ladder and jump in their TIE Fighters like that. I was like, what? That's fucking awesome. Sorry. <laughs> I kind of I kind of got screamish a little bit like what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> like that and I'm like wait, wait 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 this is a bad thing because they're going to be more agile and faster than that ship to fly. Right. So I kind of I kind of calmed down a little bit. I'm like, well, maybe maybe things will work out. And they did. Oh boy, did they. Climb. <laughs> Climb. <Sorry. laughs> right, so when when they got in the fighter, right? When uh, they told Andor to go get it ready, he got in there and uh, Nimic covered him, right? Yep. Covered him fairly well, I may add. Um, he was scared as shit, too. A lot better than shaking Steve. the whole time, still doing his fucking job. Nimic, he was the best fucking character. You could put that. I can't, I can't believe they killed him off already. God. Sorry. R.I.P. Nimic. <laughs> Love you, dude. <laughs> Dude, my fucking but, uh, camera's going crazy today. <laughs> but okay, so when when Andor got in there, he was flipping all the switches, and then that guard, right? He, he's like, "Fuck, I'm gonna go get him." And he gets in there, and Andor kind of turns around. You see it, in, you know, in a bit movie or a show. He sees it. And he, he tries to get up, but that dude's like, "Nah, I'm throwing him against the panel." And they were struggling, right? And Andor picked up his pistol, and I thought, "Oh fuck, they're about to shoot out the window, and ain't gonna take off." But luckily, he didn't. That's true. But uh, what was crazy was when he pushed off and fell back like that, right? and there, you can see him through the, the doorway, Nimic turned around and waited for the perfect shot and shot that motherfucker so Andor could get up and finish the mission. MVP, motherfuckers. I don't know what you're doing right now, but you better be hitting that like and subscribe button right down there. Make sure to go ahead, hit it, like, and subscribe. Subscribe. It's free. Just do it. Hold on. Hold on. Can I can I bring us back in? Yeah. All right. It's going to be wild. You ready for it? You can cut it out if you want. I don't give a shit. <laughs> but you ready? Yeah. And welcome back to Nerd Out Andor. This is the best <laughs> episode ever. <laughs> well, at least to this point in the series. You know, I'll leave it in there. I'll leave it in there. But I, honestly, I should have covered my camera too. <laughs> that way we could have been, like, been pretty on point. But hey, we got we got a couple more episodes to work out. <laughs> oh, All right, great. so we're up to the point of they got it. They got the they got the imperial credits in the, on the ship. Yep, they're on the ship. Uh, Tamarian is dead. Or supposedly, allegedly dead. Gorn, allegedly dead. Mm -hmm. The old man, heart attack. For sure. Cause, I mean, that was I hope he's cut. fucking dead. Sorry. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> he don't come back like Darth Maul. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude. Honestly, the dark side, if you, can, you feed off of uh, your hate and anger. That shit can keep you alive. So the fact that he got cut in half. And he was able to stay alive. It's all it's it's all because he fed off the dark side. It's so, crazy. Then, like you can't you can't do healing from the dark side. That's like a Jedi move. But just like Anakin, whenever he got cut in half and burned, he was his eyes went a different color. Right. That's whenever he's feeding off the dark mm -hmm. side. His eyes were already off. No, no, they weren't. No, they weren't. Trust when me. he cut off Mace Windu's arms. Nope. Trust me. Uh, they, they he did bit. it. He did it after he'd murdered it all was, the little kids with the young lean slayer three, uh, young lean slayer three thousand. After he killed off all of them, his eyes were like that. And then his fight during Obi Wan, he wasn't until he started getting burned. Go back and watch it. Trust me on this. He started feeding off the dark side to make sure that he stayed alive. Yeah, it's badass. It's a badass scene. I love it. It's my favorite part in all Star Wars. 
You can watch it too. <laughs> watch tonight. Watch one of them. You know what? I'll watch it. I'll watch it. I don't give a fuck. It's my favorite take Star Wars video. Of it. it's it's a, I, and then I will send it to you, and then you'll be like, "God damn, he was right." <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I mean, dude, they do it to where, where whenever he's burning, you can actually see his eyes go from regular to fucking to the uh, the weird orange. You see it happen right in front yeah. of you. Trust me, it's good. I love it. It's my favorite part in Star Wars. Comment down below whether you think it's true that it happens as he's burning or when he cuts off Mace Windu's arms. Yep. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, okay. <laughs> Moving on. So, obviously, Skeen is a piece of shit. Well, hold on, we hold on. This. Let me let, before you get to where Skeen is. How was the uh, the way it launched the ship? Well, I was getting there. Oh, I was trying to trying to stay in front of the flow oh, or bad. behind the flow, I guess. My bad. But uh, no, you're good. So. You know, it sucked that he didn't cover Tamarian or Tim, Tar, Taramin. 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 Don't worry, I got I you. Don't. I'm, not, I'm bad with names. I know. Taramin. Great with faces. Perfect. Like, it's, it's weird. Strange. I'm bad with names too, but um, I'm having to learn. So, but uh, but you know, he was kind of awesome a little bit when he saw all the all the credits. And he's like, you here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That was epic. Yeah. Um, probably cut out my audio a little bit. I'm sorry. No, you actually, that's the yeah. one time it didn't do it. So you're good. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Um, but yeah, so let's just jump to it. They get on the ship, right? And everybody's like, go, dude. Take it. Let's go. Let's go. And he hits it. I mean, full pedals is some bitch, right? What about like, Terraman? Sorry. Terraman's dead. Yeah, yeah. That's what Nimek says. Nimek. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, he gets on it, and you can see everybody just go <laughs> like that shit, right? And they're like, dude, man, that was intense. And then you instantly know when it happens. That pallet, or whatever they call it, slides yeah. into Nimek. And I was like, no, I put it on here in capital letters. Let me just show you. Now, my handwriting is shit now. Don't judge. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sad face. <laughs> I put a... Uh... I was like, I almost cried, dude. Like, I was like, God, oh, man. But they pulled him up. Where you got it at? It's a Nimic almost... What? It's blurry. Made it. Namek oh, almost no. made it. So close, man. I thought I for sure he was going to die, and then like he almost oh, didn't boy. die. Yeah, I'm, I, it's me. It's my fucking. No, game. my my phone just did a weird glitch here. Yeah, so like I, I got a I border around there. my picture. It's strange. Like, he almost. Nice. So anyways, sorry. He almost no, fucking good. made it, dude. He was right there. I I thought he was going to die in the gunfight. The fact that he made it I past the gunfight. I thought he was going to die before that. Oh, really? Shit. Yeah, like, yeah, that's right. You thought put, he was going to. As soon as the guy had him on the. I'm like, dude. I was I was so nervous with him the whole way. And yeah. then it got past all the hard shit, right? Mm -hmm. And then, oh, no, you're, you're green as crap. Take a uh, second. It's fine. It's, it's, good on my, you want. it's good on my side. So everything is recording? Yep. Yep. It's all good. I just got you saying you that, mean, too. Don't worry. You give me a second. <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> uh, everything's good now. Okay, like, cool. the word has gone. It's, it's, it's done. <laughs> Strange. I was like, I, don't, I, I mean, you're looking at me like. <laughs> and it, it is so distracting. I couldn't, I couldn't stop focusing on it. <laughs> We're moving on. So, all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it takes off right I don't remember where the fuck I was at. yeah it takes it off takes and it off. smashes him I was super sad I thought he was going to make it go ahead and 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 they get it they get leveled out I guess and they get it off of him and she said I got a med pin or a, a stab yeah. pin med pin it was a med pin 
anyway, and stabs him. He he looks so scared of it. Like you're like, <sighs> yeah. Like you know that was just it was. Yeah, and then he's I'm all pretty like, sure I teared up. Oh yeah, whenever whenever he's telling him, uh, what does he say? Pull up or something like that. Uh, uh, he says something. Climb. climb. Full climb now. And he's, and like, he's like, I don't I, got him no power. And you want him to pull climb? climb? And climb. And, you're, like, and, then he, and then he fucking tells him to dive. You know what? Namek's actually the reason those uh, TIE fighters got taken out. Because he told them when to climb and when to dive. And then uh, two, oh, all three of them, two of them got blown up by right. the things. And one of them blew up into the other one. So if it wasn't for Nemec telling him how to navigate through those, he would have fucking, mm -hmm. like, they would have been screwed. So they needed Nemec anyway. It just sucks that he had to fucking die. Dude, and then Skeen... <clears throat> well, Sorry, go ahead. Well, I have been here, okay. The doctor has four arms. Well, hold on. Before we get there, uh, Skeen okay. literally was the one trying to say... Let's let's go get this guy healed up. And uh, Bell was the one saying, "No, we need to get this shit taken to the spot that we need." And sh uh, because he's fucking dying, there's nothing we can do about it. And then Skeen like talks him into it. Of course, it's up to Andor because he's the one flying. Um, so like right. Skeen had good intentions right there, or was I don't he? Think so. Do you think he was just trying to get them there so he can dump them? I think he was trying to get them there so he could have time with Andor because he knows without Andor. His his side idea is not going to work because it's nobody to fly the ship. Right, he doesn't know how to fly. Because if thing. him and Bell split the money, nobody can fly, not even them. So he he gets along with Endor and it's like, hey man, you know, what do you think we got in there? And he's like, eighty million, give or take. You know, I think that's what I think. And uh, excuse me, and um, that was really gross. Sorry. And, <laughs> But so he says, I think we got about 80 million, give or take, right? He doesn't specify give or take what? Give or take a million, give or take a thousand, you know, yeah. a few. But he says 80 million. And he said, no, that's 40 million between the folks. And then Andor kind of at this point in time realizes how much of a piece of shit Gene really is. But what if he was just testing Andor? That's a good point. <laughs> I mean, Andor, when he popped him, he didn't give him time to say anything. No. He, just, he went. Wow, He's like, so, so you're not, you. so you're not uh, for the rebellion. He's like, oh, I'm a rebel. I'm just for myself. You know, I'm against myself everybody. against everyone. But what about yeah. your brother? I have a brother. What if that was all a <laughs> test to see if like Andor would be like? But Andor didn't give him <laughs> one second to fucking come clean well, about anything. <laughs> also, just like, if you remember, boom. he said, what about me? Andor said, what about me? And he said, well, 40 million is enough for me to forget about you. Yeah. I'm like, no, nah, dude. You ain't going to forget about somebody with 40 million credits. He knows a moon. He knows a moon that they can go hide out on. You're probably trying to take him back to your fucking buddy so he can get jumped. Y'all kill him and take his fucking 40 million, dude. Fuck that. It was a good thing he shot his ass because nobody likes a skiing person anyway. Sorry. <laughs> you know, when, when I have a disagreement with somebody, I'm just going to call him skiing. <laughs> Shut up, skiing. <laughs> you dirty skiing. <laughs> I do like that. <laughs> skiing. I mean, it's not foul language. Maybe in the Star Wars universe it might be. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but dude, I don't but, uh, know what race that uh, doctor was. Getting back to your what you said. So he he okay. If you remember in in Ray's adventure, I think it's the Last Jedi or the the Rise of Skywalker, maybe. Uh, she meets that lady. No, it's that different. Really, it's a different. I know, but their faces look Babu the Frick. same. It's Babu Frick. That's her name, by the way. But anyways, all right, moving on. Um, she does have damn. the little eyes that he oh. has. He, um, Andor says luck, right? And that's when their whole conversation took off, him and Skeens. And he said luck. <laughs> I was thinking, is it the luck? Is it the that force? You had, or was it the force? <laughs> <laughs> Everything. There ain't no such thing as luck when the force is involved, dude. It all depends on the right. force. Everything's controlled by the force. Because you remember in Rogue One, 
there was a lot of force that day. Yep, I am the force. The force is with me. I'm one with the force. The force is with mm-hmm. me. I'm one with the force. The force. You know what? That dude, if he wasn't fucking blind, and I think if the Republic was no, I think I think it's pretty much that he was blind that the <clears throat> that the uh, Jedi didn't take him in the first place. Well, I feel like they would have. I feel like his force abilities wasn't high enough, but he definitely has some kind of force ability, in my opinion. Because that dude, right. he was he was a badass, completely blind, hitting people whenever they would fucking come towards him, like dodging bullets. That dude fucking had some kind of force ability. That dude was a badass. That dude was pretty badass. Yeah. I'm going to watch that movie tonight when I get back home. It's so good, man. It'll be in the morning. Dude, honestly, I can't wait till Andor is done, and you can watch all of Andor leading straight into Rogue One. That's going to be the best oh. thing ever. <laughs> Maybe I'll wait till then. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I've already watched it twice years. this year. What? What? Rogue One? Yeah, I've already watched it twice this year. You know, as a Star Wars fan, you know a Star Wars fan when he's, he says, I've already watched it once or twice this year. <laughs> it, it's like Halloween, you know what I mean? It's a great holiday. Yeah, but it's only once a year. Some people do it all year round. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, I have watched uh, uh, one, two, and three. I've watched. I, I honestly, dude, I think I've watched all the way up to the sixth movie, including Rogue One and Solo movie, and I put all those in. Like, okay, I watched all those together at the beginning of the year. Then when Obi Wan finished, I watched one, two, three, then Obi Wan, then four, five, and six. So I've watched all those wow. all together already too. And then I watched Andor one more time or not Andor Rogue One one more time with my girlfriend. That's how much I've watched I watched just this year so far. I watched episode one, two, and three again. Um and then I watched Obi Wan. I was gonna watch the Clone Wars, but man It's so much, dude. You watch one, two Clone Wars which is fucking eleven seasons. <laughs> it's it, yeah, it's it's, it's you it's pretty much got to skip easy. the first two fucking seasons, too, because it's fucking boring as shit. Well, it's not boring. It's but really not bad. I think you could probably get away with watching the last two or three seasons. Yep. You know what I mean? Well, th- I that's mean, whenever things the, the best. The first handful of it, it, it's basically the same thing. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. You got good guys. You got bad guys. You got, you got Anakin doing his thing, you know, learning the forest and all that. But... You uh the Mortis the Mortis art dude? What the the Mortis the, the time or the uh force the force god pretty much. Mm-hmm. He's uh it was with the son and daughter. That's what it is. What are you doing? <laughs> Dude, the, the Mortis arc is <laughs> the best arc in Star Wars, in my opinion. Shit, I, the I arc, the Mortis arc. Yeah, there's uh, whenever he, he goes meets the uh, oh my shit's all fucked up again. Whenever he goes and meets the uh, the the the, the, the Force guy, the balance of the Force. Hey, put your hand, put your arm in front of the saber, like this. More in front of the same. Oh, there we go. It fixed. <laughs> Good job, James. <laughs> <laughs> well, your saber is so bright, the camera focuses on. Oh, wow. You know, I think it's only that 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 color. Usually, I use a different color, but I asked you before the show. I was like, which one looks better? So that's what we got stuck right. with. But the Mortis art, dude, is uh with the 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 balance and then the the daughter and the son. That are the light that side was and dark probably side. The, one of the best episodes of that series. Well, I mean, there's like three or four episodes. That's why I call it an arc. And uh, yeah, that's that's the reason I I don't even remember where I was going with this, but yeah. Well, I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> I got lost, dude. My but, fucking camera fucked up. <laughs> you know? But you know, I, I argued this a lot with Star Wars people. Um, I say people because we're not just fans. We're it's in our blood, you know what yeah. I mean. It's in our DNA. Um, some of us are just in it for because our parents are there. Some of us watch it, you know, with loved ones like girlfriends, boyfriends. Um, I'm not saying anything about you, Clinton, because you know, Todd had you make up. <laughs> 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 and so, anyway, um, 
Yeah. So it's in our DNA. You know what I mean? Um, the force. With that being said, you can't. I always always argue you can't watch Star Wars and not watch Clone Wars. Yep. It, it's it's so much of Anakin's back backstory back you don't get through the movies because um, you kind of between Episode one and two in that time span. Obviously, Clone Wars is past two, but in Episode one and two in his gr- in his growth period, what I call growth period. Um, you have little baby Anakin, and then you have like teenage Anakin, right? Well, not baby, but child. Uh, there's a whole like ten years. If you remember, it's been ten years since he's seen Padme. There's ten years that you don't get to see his growth. You don't get to see his training. You don't get to see his bringing up. You don't yeah, get but to see Clone Wars is after that. The beginnings, it's right? I know, three. but that part you get to see a little bit more uh, of what made him into the to the i guess dark side legend dude honestly you need to watch rebels too because everything that's happening right now i agree takes place during rebels like it's all it's all around the same thing they just <clears throat> they already got a person to play hera which is the pilot on rebels and they also have somebody that's playing ezra bridges and uh and wait the, and, and is this an andor no, no, no. I don't know if they're going oh. to show up in Andor. I have no idea. But they also have somebody to play uh, fucking Ahsoka? No, not Ahsoka. Uh, what's her name? The Mandalorian chick. Well, anyways, they have they have someone to play her as well. So they already have about all Obi-Wan's... the... Obi-Wan's... No, no. You're talking they... about Obi-Wan's love life? No, no. They already have... Uh... Negro? No, no. They already have everything that they need to play the people for Rebels... And since, spoilers, but since Ezra might have died, we don't know for sure, at the end of Rebels, I said spoilers, we don't know, we don't, but you don't know, we don't know because, listen, we don't know because he's coming back, but he might be, it might, he he might be coming back before that ever happens, so we don't actually know. But everything is happening right now and you need to watch it. I'm not, that's, we don't know if he died. Fuck you, Clinton. We don't know. You don't. You still don't know how it happens. Fuck you. I, 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 you're on a Star Wars podcast, man. I have to mention some things. I can't just. <laughs> I know. I know. It's my own what you, fault. What do you think's in the manifesto? Man, dude, look. I think it's going to be a, a, a large part of what he thinks the rebellion should be, and how it should be ran. I think. I think it's going to have something to do with that. And he's in Andor, the next episode, okay? The next episode, Andor's going to get all choked up and reading the shit and be like, man, this kid was really, truly awesome. <clears throat> and they're going to use that as like a Bible right. for the rebellion. I agree. But here's a fun part. Here's a fun part. Here's a fun part. Side note, look what I said. Best episode ever yet? Right now. No, well, not that part. He, he didn't have a brother. With an emoji right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, it is the best fucking episode ever. Okay, so <laughs> the fun part. Uh, you see, you see Mon Mothman or whatever. Moth- Mon names. Mothma. Mon Mothma. Mon Mothma. Mon Mothma. I'm just gonna call her the senator because it's, <laughs> it's simpler and easier for me. Um, my enunciations are shit. Uh, so, anyways, um, so. You see her giving her speech about, oh, it's going to kick everybody in the throat. And this is going to be fair and equitable for everybody, blah, blah. And you see everybody start going, like, talking and bullshit. I'm like, you're some rude bitches. And then she looks at her, her notepad, right? And she's like, oh, well, don't overreact right here, but. She know, she yeah, found out that it. their plans, yeah, their plans fucking work. Yeah. And, dude, and isn't then, it cool that you actually got to see the fucking, uh. The senators yeah. fucking place again, yeah. not all fucked up yeah. after Yoda and fucking Palpatine had their their way with it. Jesus, that's so cool. Yeah, I was like, I it's got... back. <laughs> it's like... It was at the very end of the episode, and I was gonna write it down, but I'd already taken over a page of notes, and I was like, no, yeah, I'm not writing that down. Um, okay, so also at the other side of this of that fence, behind, that behind the scene real empire. Um, they go in that meeting, right? He said, "I want, I want a retaliation plan from everybody, 
before midnight or by midnight. And so tell your staff, tell your family, you're not going nowhere. Yep. We're we're striking these fuckers back now, right now. I think that's her plan. I think that girl, Daedra, I think she's going to come into play right there. And she's like, look, I had all this figured out before, not this attack, but I had all these other little attacks figured out. And nobody want to listen to me. So maybe you should put me in charge. That's Honestly, I was thinking the same thing. I said, uh, I said in my head whenever I was watching that part, I was like, nobody fucking listens to that bitch. Now she's about to shine. God damn it! I fucking hate her and her eyes. <laughs> You're weird with the eyes, man. They, she looks at you wrong, man. It just looks weird. I don't like it. Look at you wrong, like bitch. I'm about to straighten that look up. So this is the first <laughs> episode we didn't see surreal in. Right, right. I think he's been in all um, the other ones. And he wasn't in this one. Yeah, so I think he's right. going to be a big part in the That's next episode. That's probably why it was so good. Sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> he's definitely going to be in the next episode, though. Because I heard that the next episode is actually a really, like, it's like a filler episode. It's going to give you a bunch of backstory. And I think Dedra and Cyril is probably going to have a big backstory that this, that's going to happen. Yeah. Mm. And Luthen. Yeah, and Luthen. Dude, did you see how scared he was? Uh, he was happy. Oh, at first, at first, yeah. yeah. And he's like, "Do you have anything Ex- from Aldani?" He's excuse like, "Excuse me, <laughs> excuse me." Oh, they're they're just and he's like, "Yeah, they just got hit," and he's like, "I, I don't I'll know, let me right check back. the bag." Yeah, <laughs> he goes check the bag. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> "Yeah," <laughs> the evil man laugh. <laughs> it was great, man. I so, loved it. Another okay, thing, no. you didn't actually see Andor leave, right? So, do you think well, you think Vel runs out there and talks to him before he takes off and be like, you know, he hands it back to Crystal also, and says to return it yourself? Uh, I trust you, this, that, and the other. I think that that's what's going to happen because otherwise, how is he going to get back in touch with fucking uh, Luthen? what's his face, Luthen? Luthen, yeah, yeah. Hold on. How's he going to get back in touch with him if uh, he just runs off now, you know? Right. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. That's, that, there's nothing to lead either way on that, that part. Um, but what did shock me was he didn't want the fucking credits. He didn't want to split that in any direction. No, he just wanted to say, give me what I was promised. And, give me what I was promised, and I'm out. And he paid for the uh, for, paid for the ship. He's like, that's probably about thirty. I'll give you thirty thousand credits for the ship. That's probably what it's worth. And I want my fucking my, my cut. And I want to get the fuck out of here. And I think it's Skeen's fault, to be honest. Probably. Because <clears throat> um, that's at that point you can't you can't trust anybody. Yeah. No shit, dude. He was the one person that was on his ass that they couldn't trust him because he wasn't part of the cause. And this motherfucker was mm-hmm. lying the whole goddamn time. So we think, because mm-hmm. we don't actually know, he shot him before he actually had a chance to explain himself. But that's what we're going to go with. <laughs> and poor Cinta got left on the fucking planet. How, they got to go back and pick her up, dude. And well, like, that's, that's something I wanted to run by. Do you think she's actually a native? No, they're all red headed. The people. They're all red headed. I was thinking that, like, if anything, that could be his sister and or sister, but, like, they're kind of. <laughs> they don't look exactly the same, so it's like. You can't really say. What? I don't know, man, but. What's her plan? What's her escape plan? I don't you know. You think they're going to just let people come there and go there willy nilly? No. No, she's going to be fighting their fight for a long time. At the border. Yeah. Huh? They're going to be. She's going to be fighting their fight for a long time. Either that, or she's going to be have to be, mm-hmm. have to be hiding the whole time. Vel still has to go back and pick her up because you know they're boy, or their girlfriend and girlfriend. So something has to happen with her. But she has, she has, she's pretty much being tracked down right now, in my opinion. So I have a feeling she's going to be captured so. at some point. And I think that's it, dude. Yeah. You want to keep going? You want to talk about some different Star Wars? No, or? no my wife's banging on the door. Yep, that's hurt. fine. <clears throat> but she wasn't banging. She gently knocked. <laughs> Get the <laughs> fuck out. No, I'm just kidding. No. no <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all, hey, hold on. Go ahead. What was your favorite part? Oh, there we go. Least favorites and favorite parts. 
My least favorite part was um uh, Oh shit, what was fuck, what was my least favorite I'll part? Go, I'll go, go, go ahead, go ahead. My favorite part was when um uh, Andor blasted fucking skiing out of the fucking What was your least favorite? What's your least favorite first? <sighs> my least favorite was probably besides Nimic dying, I mean obviously. Um, my least favorite was the radios when it was going back and forth. That was mine. In. I didn't like. I, like, I didn't like. How did not get picked up? I didn't like the fact. that yeah, me and you both talked about this. I didn't like the fact that they disconnected it, but they disconnected it wrong or something like that. They just did something wrong. Well, I think it was a jammer. Oh, okay. I don't think it was disconnected. You know that piece fits on the yeah box. So it must it have malfunctioned or something. So what was your favorite part? Uh, I told you when Skin got blasted, when he got got, man, when he got his. That was your favorite when, part? Oh, for Skin, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, Hell for yeah. Skin. Well, I mean, I don't like the dude. I, I didn't like him. I didn't trust him. I thought he was a turd, you know. Um, and especially when we started talking like, oh, man, yeah, we're going we're gonna to fuck everybody over, dude, and take our own shit. Fuck that guy. My favorite part, yeah, dude, fucking. was when uh, Namek died. When he got crushed. Wait, that's your favorite part? I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, my favorite part was uh, when Gorn came down acting like he fucking owned everything. Like, uh, and he almost, he almost had him believe in it. Like, this shit's actually, until he had a heart attack. <clears throat> and he fell over dead, you know? Until that happened, he fucking had him. And like, he just like ran it so mm-hmm. good. Whenever he, whenever the dude was like, Gorn, He's like, I, I, I you, you'll, you'll pay for this. And he goes, for working for you for seven years, I deserve it. You know, get back to pushing, bitch. Worse. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. And before rating, what's your, what do you rate it? Oh God damn! Uh, oh, man, 8.5, I'm dude. sorry, I didn't mean to say his name in vain, but dude, it's a hard one. Eight point five. It's in the nines, huh? I give it an eight point five. I was going to say a 9.2, 9.3. 9. That's fine. That's fine. It would have been a 10, but Nimic fucking died. <laughs> I don't feel like anything deserves a 10. We're close to it sometimes. Star Wars Episode 3, I'm giving it a 10. I don't give a fuck. It's my favorite. Hey, look, man. That's the perfect backstory behind Darth Vader. Okay, let's just chop it up to that. <laughs> All right, guys. Make sure to check us out. Uh, anything and everything, nerd style. Go over there. Watch our videos on that one. And make sure to like and subscribe down in the bottom. Follow us on our Facebook so you can vote on our polls for anything and everything podcast. And get the fuck out of here. It is. (laughs)